we just concentrate on bow strokes for a while, your bow doesn't look totally under control. No, it doesn't feel under control. What does it feel like? It feels like I'm just kind of going like that. Uh -huh. um, yeah. I should probably stay on the string a little more. I don't know. But, but, but if you want to come off the string, you shouldn't be forced on the string. Cause, so I think the reason that you feel that you, you're more comfortable when you stay on the string. Right? Yeah, yeah. I can see that. I think it's because it's in your bow grip. In other words, pull the bow up in the air. You want to have a bow grip that when you're off the string, the bow feels balanced and comfortable. Right? So if, you've, if it feels sort of clumsy in the hand and you know, this is pulling you down or something such as that, that's not going to be good. So with the, um, and you want to, so to put it another way, when I watch you doing these strokes, you don't have enough flexibility or involvement with the fingers. So, uh, so that, see, this is swinging. That gives us some length to the note. But every, every beginning is controlled by starts from the fingers. It's already better, so uh, if we have a little more time, I might adjust your bow grip, but I think let's talk about do it, how to practice the stroke for right now. So I, I like, let's, let's take these, because they're easy, we don't have to worry about the left hand, right? <laughs> yes, just to learn the stroke. Mm -hmm. So here's what I'd like you to do, a little bit under tempo. Uh, I want you to get the control of the stroke so you can make a crescendo and diminuendo. Soft and light. Right. So when you practice that way, then you will have control of the stroke so you can make shapes and dynamics. Otherwise, it starts to sound like an etude, right? So you want to do a lot of shaping, right? Um, Okay, how about the same, same thing with the string crossing? Right, right. So the third note particularly should be light. takes you across. you um, I think maybe ideally um, that you want to look for a bow grip where your fingers have more control mm -hmm. your fingers are kind of laying on the stick and you're still playing very well right? but you would have even more control of the stroke if your hand was if you really felt that your fingers were holding the bow rather than so should the fingers be moving or is it coming from the fingers do move, yes, because the fingers okay. bite, particularly right, right. the third note, right? Yeah. So more like that kind of thing? Yeah, like if you <laughs> took this wallet from me and just take a look at it and turn it around in your hand and examine it. Okay, mm -hmm. so what I want you to see is how you're holding, the, the way you hold my wallet is with the pads of your fingers, right? Right. Yeah, because the human hand, that's the way we control anything. Yeah. When we don't... No. You didn't take the wallet like yeah. that, and you didn't take the wallet with your fingers falling off the bottom. So if you can find something like that, where your fingers actually have a reason to be, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yes, uh, feel the, 
Yes, I think so. You might want to come up a little bit higher like that. And there's more to talk. We can do that in another lesson, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But I think in general, that's the way the human hand controls things. So not too deep down. Mm -hmm. right? Want to do the next variation? Sure. <laughs> Because you're doing a bounce stroke that's in the, this is an important um, principle. If you're doing strokes in the lower part below the bow, below the middle of the bow, mm. right, you always swing your whole arm. Okay? Then the fingers here, being flexible, get the bite. And, and if you think of fingers coordinating with fingers, it's easier. Huh. If you're trying to just yeah, do yeah. the whole arm, it's too hard. So this needs to swing, but this, the fingers should coordinate with the fingers, right? Yeah. yeah, does that feel a little bit different? Did you feel a little bit more fingers? Yeah, uh -huh. I never thought of it like that. With, with yeah, because that was yeah. very well coordinated. 